Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this quick tip video, I'm gonna show you five ways to create crossfades in Logic Pro. The first method is just to use the Fade tool. So with the Fade tool, you just simply click and drag over any joining point or any edit point to create a crossfade. You can also use the Fade tool to extend the length of the crossfade, and you can also click in the middle to adjust the curve and center point. This is probably the slowest and most basic way to create crossfades, so let's check out some other methods. Instead of using the Fade tool, you can actually use a Fade shortcut instead. If you hold Shift and Control with the Pointer tool and simply drag over a joining or edit point, this will create a crossfade. And while holding Shift and Control, you can still adjust the center point and curve and the length of the fade. The shortcut also works for fade outs and fade ins. Another helpful method that avoids the Fade tool is the X-Fade Drag Mode. You just simply turn on X-Fade Drag Mode up here and then overlap any audio regions and the region overlap will automatically turn into a crossfade. You can then use the Shift Control shortcut again to adjust the center point and curve as well as the length of the fade. If you need to create batch fades or batch cross fades, you can also use the region inspector. So to do this, you simply drag over all of the regions that you want to apply cross fades to, open the inspector, open the region inspector, go to more, and then here under fade out, change the type from fade out to cross fade. Then simply type in the length of the cross fade. This is in milliseconds. So typically for short cross fades like this, I'll use a really small value like six to 10 milliseconds. And you can see now that a short cross fade has been applied to each edit point. Lastly, I wanna show you the quickest and most efficient way to create batch cross fades using the default cross fade shortcut. Simply select all of the regions that you want to apply cross fades to and press control option X. This will apply a short crossfade to each of the editing points. Now, by default, the length of each crossfade is 20 milliseconds, but you can actually change this. Just go up to Logic Pro, Settings or Preferences, then go to Audio, and then from here, make sure you're on the Editing tab, and here you can adjust the default crossfade time as well as the crossfade curve. So for short edits like this, I like to use a shorter crossfade time, something like 6 milliseconds. I can undo those crossfades I just created and then simply reapply the fades with Control Option X. And now I have a six millisecond fade on all of these edit points.